Welcome back. In this lesson, we'll be creating a custom elbow. Let's begin with a sketch on the front plane. Right click, insert sketch. And let's activate the three point arc tool. Drop it right about here. Right click and select to close the tool. Now let's select this point and the center point and add a horizontal relation. Select the center of the arc and the origin point and add a coincident relation. Now let's apply dimensions. Smart dimension. Let's make this a 90 degree angle. OK. And a 3 inch radius. OK. As you probably have already guessed, we need to rename the dimension. Let's call this bend radius. One word, no spaces. This dimension, let's call bend angle. And let's exit the sketch. We need to rename sketch one with a slow double click. Let's call it elbow arc. Now I'll insert a second sketch on the top plane. We'll drop a circle right about here. Activate the Smart Dimension tool. This dimension will be the outer diameter. Let's say it's 2.4 inches. OK. And let's rename this dimension. We'll call it Diameter. Exit the sketch. Now let's give a slow double click to sketch 2, rename it. We'll call it Route. OK, on the Features tab, we'll activate the Swept Boss tool to create a solid. We select the Profile and the Path. Activate the Thin Feature section to specify the thickness, 0.2 of an inch. Press the Tab key to register. We can reverse the direction if we need to by clicking here. And let's accept. If you want, you can rename this feature the Sweep Thin 1, but you don't have to. Now we need to insert a connection point. Let's create a sketch for that. Right click, Insert Sketch, and we'll drop our point about here. Let's select our new point in this circular edge and add a concentric relation. And OK, exit the sketch. Let's insert one more point. We need another sketch. Right click, New Sketch, Point, select the sketch, and the edge, concentric relation, OK, exit the sketch. We don't need to rename these sketches either. Now let's go to the Routing menu. Routing Tools, Create Connection Point. I'll select this face and this point. The red arrow specifies the route direction. For route type, let's use fabricated pipe. Nominal diameter, 2 inches is fine. Stub length, 1 inch. And click OK. Let's create a second connection point now. Routing tools, create connection point. Select this face. And this point, routing type, fabricated pipe, 2 inch nominal diameter, stub length, 1 inch. And let's click OK. Now let's go to Insert, Tables, Design Table. Method of table creation will be Auto Create, OK. Let's select the dimensions we need bend angle, bend radius, diameter. Diameter of the first connection point, and the diameter of connection point 2. Let's click OK. If you do want to control the wall thickness of the pipe, you can also select D1 at Sweep Thin 1. This dimension doesn't have to be renamed. Just in a second, though, I'll show you how to rename it anyway. For this example, I'm going to skip the inclusion of this dimension and click OK. And here is my table. Let's just stretch it out a bit. Okay. 
Instead of default, let's change the description to something more descriptive. Let's say 2 inches by 90 degrees. Now let's copy row 3 and paste it on row 4. And let's make some changes. The second configuration will be a 3 inch configuration. Bend angle, I'll leave it 90 degrees. Bend radius, 4.5 degrees. The outside diameter, let's make it 3.4 inches. And the diameters for C.1 and C.2 will make 3 inches each. Let's click in the graphic area to close the table. SolidWorks informs us that the design table generated two more configurations. Let's click OK. And let's go to the Configuration tab. We'll activate the 3 by 90 configuration so I can delete the default configuration. Right-click, Delete, confirm the delete with a yes, and we're ready to save our part. Let's call it 104. Click Save. Now let's bring it into the design library. Let's pin it down. Piping. Elbows. 90 degrees. Let's grab and drag my part from the tree and drop it right over here. And let's give it a very descriptive name. I'll call it My Elbow. And then click OK to exit the Add to Library Property Manager. Now before we start our assembly, let's see where we can rename the thickness dimension. Let's right click on Annotations and Show Feature Dimensions. Here's our thickness dimension. However, as I mentioned previously, we don't have to rename it. It's not critical. Click OK. Now let's go ahead and create a new assembly. Assembly document, OK. Cancel out of this property manager. Let's expand the library panel and bring in our flange. Flanges. Select the socket weld flange and drag it in. And let's choose a 2 inch configuration, OK. Save our assembly first. We'll call it 104, assembly document. Click Save. Under the pipe section, my pipe, the model I created in my previous lesson, is already pre selected. Under the bends elbow section, let's select always use elbows. And now we can select our new elbow. My elbow, click open. Let's scroll down the property manager to options. Be sure automatically create fillets is checked and click OK. Now let's activate the line tool. OK, exit the sketch. And we've successfully applied an elbow to our assembly. Let's edit our route, right click and edit. We'll change the pipe diameter from 2 inches to 3 inches. I'm also going to increase the length of the stub a little to avoid a rebuild error. Let's change the route diameter as well. Driving. Let's say 3 inches. Here's the single available elbow and pipe configuration. Save changes, yes. Exit the sketch. Exit part editing mode. And this concludes our lesson about creating a custom elbow.